uh, when we are comparing and, and making uh, comparison and uh, contrast, meaning that I'm asking here what aspect between Guagam L and LVG have similarities, what aspect they are different. So for example, in terms of source, both are actually derived from plant seed. So these are similar. So these are the similar properties. What, uh, what about the chemical structure? Yes, they are similar in terms of they have the galacto mannan, galactose and mannose as the monomer in the polymer chain. But they are different in terms of higher degree of galactose side chain in LBG, but lower degree of galactose side chain in the gua. Actually, the, this uh, I put it wrongly. As I just should put it here. A lower degree of uh, galactose side chain for gua and higher degree of galactose side chain for LBG because this is in the LBG column. Okay, what about uh, solubility? So in terms of solubility, actually gua gum is more soluble in cold water, soluble in warm water. So that's a differences here, a difference. What about the viscosity when they have uh, solubilized in water, they are hydrated fully in water, uh, gua gum will have higher viscosity at the same solid concentration. Uh, this is very important. I saw the answer just now in, in one of your script. When you are comparing higher viscosity, when you are comparing higher viscosity, you must compare in, at the same solid concentration. For example, you have 1% solution of both LBG and gua gum, then only you, can, you measure the viscosity and you compare the viscosity. So in this case, gua gum has higher viscosity than LBG at the same concentration. So there is a difference. Uh, what about gelling? Uh, in this case, they are they have similar properties. Both are actually non-gelling. They cannot form gel. Okay, uh, but they can form a very viscous solution. So gua gum and LBG can be used not as a gelling agent, but they can be used to provide viscosity. So they are viscosifying agent to provide viscosity. Okay, what about interaction? Do they interact with any other hydrocolloids? Yes, gua gum shows synergistic interaction with xanthan to give higher viscosity when compared to when, you know, compared to xanthan alone, compared to uh, gua gum alone. Whereas LBG in the hot solution uh, with xanthan gum at one to one ratio, they can form a strong elastic gel. So this is actually a very uh, uh, important difference here between LBG and gua gum. Uh, they show interaction, uh, synergistic interaction with xanthan, but with gua gum, it can only imp uh, give a much higher viscosity compared to the individual gum. But with LBG and xanthan, they can form a strong elastic gel on cooling at a ratio of one to one. So what I'm trying to, to, to say here, you know, uh, there are many different types of uh, hydrocolloids. So you must know the properties of each of these hydrocolloids and you should be able to compare, you know, the similarities and the uh, differences between different type of hydrocolloids. And when you, when you do the comparison, you want to compare on different aspects. For example, here, we are comparing gua gum and LBG in terms of source, in terms of chemical structure, in terms of solubility, in terms of viscosity, in terms of the gelling property, in terms of the interaction, if there is any interaction. So I have given in Schoology, actually uh, some re references for example here this one uh, these are actually the properties of the different type of hydrocolloids i'm showing here uh, only for there the, uh, the, uh, actually a few pages of this table here i'm calling between i'm comparing the property here the property on the left hand side in terms of solubility in water solubility in milk other factors influencing solubility solution viscosity optimum pH range, optimum soluble solids range, heat rate of hydration, gelation conditions, gel characteristics texture, gel characteristic in terms of setting temperature, in terms of gel strength, effect on milk at neutral pH, and other properties here. 
And I'm comparing here between, you know, high methoxyl pectin, low methoxyl pectin, kappa carrageenan, iota carrageenan, and uh, another page of this table, uh, comparison, I mean, of four other hydrocolloids as well. So I think this is a good table uh, where I have summarized all the properties, you know, and you can see the, the similarities and the differences between uh, different type of hydrocolloids. So maybe you want to, you know, study that uh, carefully.